We did a bit of a, or not me, I can't take any credit on this one, this one goes out to the crew. Uh, you guys did an interview with Lucy today. We did. Yes. <laughs> well, insert here. Yeah. yeah, we had a chat. <laughs> we had a lack of chat with Lucy um, this afternoon. She is a traditional healer, and uh, we've known her for a while. She was actually on one of our earlier inserts, but now I'm just repeating something that I've already said on the insert. So, yeah, we'll um, see. But uh, Lucy, insert. Lucy <laughs> has uh, many friends that are traditional healers, and she knows a few that have been bust for Dacha, yeah. and it's just really cruel and unfair. To bust anybody for Dacha, but especially a traditional healer. Yes, I especially. mean, it's medicine and they're trying to help people. And she says that she's always recommended Dacha all, all through prohibition. It's the way she was taught by the by the elders, mm. and she will stick to it. But you guys will see in the interview that's coming up. Yeah. It would have been lovely to have her on the couch, but we, she wouldn't have been able to get back home in time for Due to uh, our lockdown curfew? restrictions, we have to she says do other close. things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah babe. Yeah. Yeah. But like I said, we're, we're trying new things out, guys. So dial in, enjoy. We'll check you on the other side. And go. Right. <coughs> healer. Lucy, do you prefer being called a traditional healer or a sangoma? You can call me anything. I blend my perfect. You glad legs. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Well, welcome to the Hotbox Show again. I know you've been on, on one of our first episodes it was in the early teens of the episodes we were still having oh, our early first days phase. issues with the, the sound and the video and yeah. everything so it's really great to have you back thank you so much excellent and uh, thank you for um calling me on the show to in for inviting me actually yeah so lucy uh these are strange times there's a lot of things that happened this year um, but what I want to ask you is, you represent a large group of traditional healers in our country. And do you think, uh, I mean, you speak to your brothers and sisters often, do the traditional healers feel that the government considers them when it comes to making laws and regulations? Because I know there's been a few arrests recently of traditional healers, and traditional healers have been using Dacha for centuries to heal people, because we know it's medicine. Now, it is so difficult to deal with the laws in this country. It is so difficult. Before they can even start with their laws, changing the constitutions for many years, traditional pillars have been existing. And cannabis is one of the plants that our elders for centuries have been using, even when it was illegal, still illegal to use cannabis. We still have, we still use cannabis. Um, in our, on our side of THP, I'll call it THP, uh, at the moment we are still struggling to have a council that will speak on, on behalf of us or regarding these laws. It's still difficult, that's why you find all traditional healers are still, still get arrested. I don't know how, how possible is that because we are the, I, might, I, I can actually say we own this plant. Because it's part of our mix. Absolutely, and I haven't, I haven't, I haven't stopped using cannabis since I became a healer. I still do, even today. And since it's winter, that's where you find us find us using it more because it helps it helps each other with other medicine to heal chest related issues. Yeah, that's a synergy effect. So so far, government is not really working with us to fix the problems we have as traditional leaders. Yeah, but from my side, it does look like our government is just trying to copy uh, laws from Europe and America and uh, not doing things the African way. Uh, we, yes. we should show the world how to do it, not the other way around, don't you feel? Yes, yes. The problem is they're still right those laws alone without being part of part of them in on the table when they, when they write these laws. We're still struggling and I don't know for how long we're still going to struggle when we come into this particular one thing. So uh, it looks like there might be some, some new cannabis bill coming out and we don't quite know what to expect. But uh, from previous leaked versions, it's not looking very good. What do you think would be an ideal situation to protect traditional healers?
this in South Africa, what, what should the new laws look like? Um, personally, I feel that I should not arrest anybody ever for cannabis. There's yeah. never, ever, ever a reason, any reason at all whatsoever. I think our government must start accepting us first, traditional healers first, and accepting the culture of our people in this country. Cannabis has been here, people have been using it, whether it was illegal or legal. Mm. It has been here. What I have learned since uh, the court judgment a few years ago, uh, there's been a lot of change. People who have been using cannabis at their own homes, they've been hiding it from their children, from the elders of their families, or a father will hide it even from their wife, you know. Um, right now what happened, they, it has started to be a communication where a parent is able to sit down with the, ch with the child and say, I've been using cannabis all this time. What we need to do now is to set the rules of the house. I'll be happy as a parent if my own children who are age right to use this cannabis to yeah. grow it here. That conversation is now easier to have. Yes. Yes, it's very easy now. Even the women, as you know, we are always concerned about our children. Uh, it's easy for the, to, to, to say to them, I will only allow chemicals that is grown from my own yard. Yes, and as we know, recently the, 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 there was a court judgment in, in our country. Uh, now they cannot incriminate minors for cannabis anymore, which makes it even easier yes. and which reflects uh, science in, in, in a clearer way because uh, there isn't enough or any harm in cannabis that would, that, that would uh, uh, you know, make place for a law that, that puts children at such a risk. It's, it's completely uh, it's stupendous. It is. Jo, what, you wanted to ask Lucy about her friend, right? So, um, you were going to have two friends that were going to sit with you on the couch. Now, apparently one of them was having an issue, something to do political-wise with, with cannabis. Can you speak on her behalf about this? Oh, yes, uh, the problem, the political issue that we are always in the middle of as traditional healers is when people are setting rules while we are not there. Yes. They end up taking, taking decisions for us. We can't help, we have to find out how to talk to our people in communities at large about how can we turn this whole thing to be about African way. Right. Then the other person who was going to be here, it was a person from the community going to share with us what has been changed regarding these new regulations uh, when coming to cannabis. Hello? Hi, yes. yeah, we can hear you. Oh, okay. Yes, uh, there, is a, there is a youth concern regarding cannabis. Okay. Yeah, I can tell by the amounts of people that rock up at events. Yes. Yes, youth is, compl youth is complaining that there is not enough education for them to learn because as they look at their places, people still come from other countries with their own cannabis. Mm. Well, there, does, there needs to be a big education cannabis. drive. Yeah, you're talking about educating the lawmakers because you can't make a law and, and regulate something that you don't understand. know about or understand. Uh, just, uh, yes. yes, and those laws, they are really, they want those laws to be... Like the, like the American and European ones. And we need African solutions for Africa. We really? seem to have lost Lucy again. Um, I'm not sure. Should we try? Why not on the street? What happens on the street? Okay. Why do they get up when they're on the street? They still need education. Yes. They still need education. When you look at the how, um, the other person said, mentioned that when you look at the suburbs, we have places where we call them suburbs. Then you compare that to our locations mm -hmm. where our most black communities are staying. Uh, cannabis is not treated the same. In our locations, people just smoke everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, it's the, it's the medicine of the people. 
And whenever the police get involved, it's just a tool for them to get bribes. Which is why we need to remove the police from cannabis completely. They uh, don't police tomatoes. The they don't yeah. need to be policing cannabis. Especially not arresting traditional and, healers. Yeah. Yes. Another thing is that education. The law keeps on teaching the people, communities about law, but they never teach police. People. Yeah, so they, they teach people police, wrong. They are never taught anything. They don't know anything about legal or illegal. That's right. So that, that gives us some good insight, Lucy. Thank you so much. Mm. Did you have any last questions to ask, Shal? Um, no, no. I was, I was just concerned with... Because with, I know a friend. I, I've, I've spoken to a friend. Mm. Yeah. So hi, guys. We've got Lucy. Wow, Lucy, that's been a, a wonderful conversation. Um, I'd like to thank you so much for coming on to the Hotbox Show. Is there any last things that you wanted to, any last message that you wanted to put out there for our viewers? Yes, um, um, I have, I was given an opportunity to her on the Satellite TV channel. Mm -hmm. As a traditional healer, I'm taking people back to uh, our traditional way of healing. We like to minimize the deaths that you are that we see happening, things that we can avoid, um, yeah. so things that we can avoid that can easily kill people. Yes. We have certain plants that we can use or have in our in our yards as home remedies. As we were growing up as young children, we were given these remedies uh, on seasonal. When season, a season when seasons changes, we were given this medicine just to be accommodated on the next season. To protect yes. you as a preventative. You don't get, you, you don't get sick, yes. you don't experience all these bad flus that are coming our way all the time. I would like to say to everyone that you know you have a space to grow in your yard. Cannabis is one of the plants that you need to have. You're going to use it as a herbal uh, medicine that you can give your children from a child to adults. And another two shall, I think I'll send you two pictures there on your phone. Can you show on your screen? If, if people can have these three plants in their home or yards, okay. every year, every year, every year. Okay. So that was... giving to the small children, to the adults, will minimize and save money of going to doctors whenever yes. we feel sick, because nobody will get even sick. Yes, Lucy, so when, when um, in your tradition, when people give cannabis to children, do they give it to them in, in raw form so that there's no psychoactivity? Uh, because our parents are our parents. I am a parent myself. We cook. We do tonics with it. Ah, I see. So, so it, won't, it, it won't get the child high. It's a mild, mild medicine. Because yes. people are always no, concerned no, about that. Is. As a traditional healer at the moment, they I don't do cannabis alone. I mix it with other herbs. On the cannabis tonic that you have, you need to have your detoxer, you need to have your immune booster, so that even when whatever amount you can take of it cannot harm your whole your body. Okay. Okay. Great stuff. Another thing, another thing that I'm working on that I would like to um, share with other people. Uh, um, we, me and my friends, we are starting this private club, Cannabis Private Club. Mm -hmm. It's That's going good. to deal. It's going to deal with the teachings of how to grow yourself, which healthy ways of that you will follow. It will teach you how do you grow even the healthier one. Mm. Grow your own medicine. Great. That's exciting. Okay. This is what we want to take to the children on the streets mm -hmm. who are smokers, to the adults who want to have this perfect plant in their homes to grow. They will know exactly how to do it right. Cannabis is a good plant when you take it alone, but once you start mixing it with other things, take the, take the stigma out of yes. calling cannabis a plant. Yes, correct. Yes. Absolutely correct. So, yes, so if anyone would like to 
Shit, ideas on this. <laughs>